so excuse my nudity. I am in my pajamas, and I don't have any pants on, um, <laughs> but I was sitting here, and I had a friend who was me messaging me, and they were very upset and um, scared for their financial future, and, um, well, it's easy just to come out with it. I don't have medical insurance. Now, I don't have the the money or the really need for medical insurance at this time, and, like, knowing my health and my familial health is, uh, is, is really good, considering, <laughs> you know, um, certain things I, I have learned throughout the past two to three years, I can get away with not having to see a doctor or having to pay medical bills. And there are a few things that I, I know of that have helped me with this immensely. Um, rule number one, eat healthily. It's literally that easy just, you know, to prevent yourself from getting really sick on certain things. You you really need to cut down on sugars and on meats and cholesterol and all that other stuff because it does, you know, it does rack up a huge medical bill and a medical debt if you contract, or contract, if you uh, develop diabetes, which is prominent in the women in my family. Not particularly because of genetics, although it does play a part into it. Um, the women in my family are very overweight, and it's pretty genetic. But there's also the personal knowledge of, hey, I can prevent this just by cutting out meat from, you know, two-thirds of my week. <laughs> it's that easy. Um, number two, the second thing, uh, most medications you can buy, um, pretty much anywhere. I am lucky enough to live in Colorado where if I have a really bad breakdown week and, like, I need some type of medication to help me with my anxiety and depression, I can go to a dispensary and get a cookie and be okay. And I'm really lucky to be able to, to do that. Um, there are things like you can get amoxicillin and deoxycycline, which is a very, very strong um, antibacterial, I guess, antiviral, that you can get those on Amazon, and they're not too expensive. You can also get epinephrine, which is what's in EpiPens, and, um, you can also get, uh, medical syringes from Amazon, and you can, you know, dosage yourself. Um, I do have vials of epinephrine in my refrigerator, right now that I got from um, Amazon because I do have a pretty severe bee allergy. Granted, I live in Colorado and there's not too many bees up here, but I do have a very severe bee allergy. And if I do get stung, that will help enough for me to be able to get to a hospital on time. And yeah, that medical bill is going to be through the fucking roof, but you know, it's something I would deal with at the time. Um, there's other things like, um, birth control is expensive as all hell, and when I was being very careful about birth control, um, the things that I found worked the best and were the cheapest options were things like barrier method, um, and spermicidal method. So I use, let's see if I have any up here. I probably don't. Um, no, they're in the bathroom. So, let me grab. Are they in here? Yes, they are. Um, VCF, vaginal contraceptive film. It's kind of looks like one of those breath strips that uh, come in the little blue packages. And you put it on your finger, and then you put it up in your uh, vagina, and you let it melt into your vagina for about 15 minutes, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very effective. Um, we also 
use condoms, which, you know, are pretty cheap if you buy them in bulk. Um, things like that. Um, fun fact, you do not even need to go to a pharmacy to get Plan B contraceptive. You don't need to talk to anybody. You don't even have to really be 18. All you need is a working Amazon account and some type of card to be able to purchase things off of it. Um, Amazon does have like four different brands of uh, Plan B contraceptive, both Lolestrin and other, I forget what they're called, but there are Plan B contraceptives on Amazon, I promise you. Um, I don't know. Other things, there are a lot of homeopathic remedies for certain things, and I, being over the age of 18, I am fully vaccinated against everything already, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, that's a thing that you would want to look into, um, if you do have anti-vax parents, uh, you, you should look into getting vaccinated, definitely, because it does help prevent a lot of things. Like, I got the, uh, human papillomavirus vaccination when I was 13, and I don't have papillona, <laughs> I guess. Um, another thing that you can do to avoid medical costs is avoid doing dumb shit. <laughs> like, just don't have sex willy-nilly, um, be safe with your sex, use condoms, make sure that your partners are clean, um, do take care of your body correctly. Uh, it really isn't that hard. Certain things that I have to deal with monthly, the periods and things, uh, I get very, very intense pain in my abdomen and in my brain. Like, I get very bad migraines, and I sometimes get ocular migraines that lead to periods of complete blindness, which is scary, but it's just a thing that I deal with. Um, there are ways to combat common issues, like every single year I get an ear infection. Every single year. I get a small cold, and then I get an ear infection, and it's typically been diagnosed as being the flu, which I've, the flu shot at Walgreens is $15, which is not expensive. However, I found that every time I get the flu shot personally, I end up getting sick, and I get way more sick than I would have if I had not gotten it. Um, and that's probably because though the virus is, the flu virus and the flu shot is more often than not developed for the previous season's flu. Um, influenza is continuously adapting. So it's, it's one of those things that you could do it and it can help. Or you can just deal. <laughs> you know, um, wash your hands often. Uh, keep things sanitized and tidy, make sure you cook your food properly, make sure you are constantly checking CDC updates on things like, um, recalls on certain vegetables, um, be careful around certain things like romaine lettuce and peanut butter and eggs, because those are very common things to get contaminated with things like E. coli, and you don't want that. Um, make sure that you are wearing the proper clothing for certain times of the year. If you, it is cold outside, do not wear shorts. Wear your leggings and your pants. Layer. Do not just wear thick clothing. You need to layer so you, when you go inside, you are not fucking up the homeostasis in your body and, and becoming very frigid when you go outside and also not overheating while inside. Um, just simple things like that. Make sure you keep, take care of your teeth, brush them, make sure you floss. I know that's a thing that people say about you need to floss your teeth. And just generally try to take care of yourself and you shouldn't need doctor's appointments that often. Now there are a few cheap free clinics that I will go to um, and spend like a hundred bucks to go get a checkup once a year. But otherwise, I just kind of leave it alone, you know? And 
you know, we have internet. <laughs> it's so easy to Google your symptoms and be like, what is this? And if you are really scared, it's just always better to just go to a doctor and pay for it, you know? Mm, you know, debt doesn't matter when you're dead. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how I deal with uh, not having any type of medical uh, insurance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And uh, send it to people that uh, are also super broke. Bye.